And this is basically no pants. And they're leggings. Right. I mean, I am wearing pants, but they're leggings. <laughs> this is a shirt and leggings, not a dress and leggings, which is what we had on earlier. Anyway, biggest challenge year one. Not going out of business. Honestly, I had no idea how hard it was going to be to start a business. Okay, so I think everybody that starts a business starts at like some version of a, dif a different starting line. Like you might have three really big clients um, and you're starting a business, but like you were working with them and you just ended up starting a business, if that makes sense. Um, or you had this like robust business plan and financing in place and you knew exactly what it was gonna look like and how you were gonna deliver it. I think, and I'm not just trying to be dramatic, that I started a business probably the hardest way you can. Only because I had no business experience. I literally, in college, I was the only communications major. Every one of my friends were business majors. And I always talked about how much more important communication was than business. So this was like a very, like immediate karma scenario that had happened. And I think it was because I just didn't respect business as much as I should have. I understood the business was important, but I didn't think, I didn't know that the processes that went into business, the, the things that make a business a business were so important to actually having one, scaling one, making one. So year one for me was just getting slapped in the face with absolutely everything there was to get slapped in the face with about business. How am I supposed to scale this business into what I, what the dream was, what I really started it for, you know? And so I would say the biggest challenge was just not knowing what I didn't know. What do you think the one biggest thing you learned from that first year was? It's a really good question. It's a really good producer that could come up with a really good question. The, the biggest lesson was you have to be a bad guy. I think that sounds crazy, but you really do because you have to, you have to protect the service that you do, what you charge for it and who it's for at all costs. And that means that sometimes you have to be, you have to advocate for that. And I think that was the, the thing I learned more than anything was that I couldn't waste my time with people that wanted to just waste my time, who wanted to pick my brain, who wanted to get my services for free, who wanted to nickel and dime me, who want all of that stuff was really hard. I, I thought, oh, they're not gonna like me. They're not gonna, you know, that means they're gonna talk bad about my business, but it was the total opposite. They were sucking me away from the people I actually could serve. And once I realized that it was my job to be like, oh, mama bear sounds dramatic, but like that big advocate for mainstream for, for what we do and who we serve, that was a lot more clicked after that. Overcoming that fear of being on camera. We've done a few videos on this and we're getting into it more next week on Behind the Stream.